I hived the swarm uh, four days ago. It was about 10 and a half pounds of bees, 10.4 pounds to be exact. And um, I'm sad to say that several hundred bees have already died. Um, I, they've gotten into something. Um, so they're doing this erratic dance. Um, they seem really disoriented and um, then they die or become paralyzed and then are panting for 10-15 minutes before they die. Um, it really seems to be, to my eyes, it seems to be some kind of nerve thing that's happening. Um, because of the disorientation and the quivering. I wish that my camera could focus in on this bee so that you could see up close. Um, and my guess is that um, they were clustered on some ground cover roses and I wonder if those roses had been sprayed. Um, because soon after um, bees are hived, I mean they do start foraging right away, of course, but the quantity of bees that are foraging just isn't that great and so within the last couple days, there she goes, now she's going to go into paralysis. Um, I wonder if they got into something before we even hived them here. I haven't seen this yet with our hives. We've had um, hives here in this location for three years and haven't had this kind of situation. That's not to say that they didn't get into something around here, but it's really sad to see and very disheartening. Um, and I've been designing and building organic gardens for more than 20 years now, and this would be a good reason for everyone on the planet to stop using chemicals and to start gardening organically because it is the saddest thing to watch a colony of bees die. She's lasting longer than most of them. Here's another one. I've set up a, a uh, gangplank here of plywood just so I can kind of keep track of how many are dying. I'll be sending these bees to the um, OSU bee lab to find out um, what's ailing them. I'm hoping that the numbers are great enough in this colony so that they can they can overcome um, whatever there is ailing them right now. But it looks like there's going to be a lot of suffering in the process, and that is just not good. I wish my camera would focus, but as you can tell, she looks like she's in a lot of pain. So everybody out there, keep keep your soil and water clean. Don't use herbicides and pesticides. I thank you, and certainly the bees thank you.